OpenAI and Meta are on the verge of introducing new artificial intelligence technologies that can think and make plans, a major step toward creating machines with human-like intelligence. The people in charge at OpenAI and Meta have shared that they're getting their new AI systems ready to go. Meta is planning to introduce Llama 3 soon, and OpenAI, with support from Microsoft, says its new model, probably named GPT-5, is also on its way shortly. Joel Pinot from Meta and Brad Lightcap from OpenAI have both talked about their goals to not just make AI that can chat, but AI that can really think through problems, make plans, and remember things. Up until now, AI has been really good at doing quick one-time jobs, but it hasn't been great at handling more complicated tasks or thinking in a broad way, but that's starting to change with these new updates. There's a big race in the tech world to make AI that can do a lot of different things very well, including writing text, making pictures, coding, or creating videos that look look like they were made by a person. And with every new development, it seems like this kind of super smart AI is getting closer to reality. Having AI that can reason and plan is a key step toward making AI that's as smart as a human. This means that soon, chatbots or digital helpers might be able to handle a bunch of tasks that are connected or think ahead about what might happen because of something they do. At a tech event in London, Jan LeCun from Meta said that right now, AI doesn't really think ahead or plan out its words carefully, which is why it sometimes makes silly mistakes. But they're working on giving AI the ability to look at different possible answers, figure out a plan of action, and understand the outcomes of what it decides to do. LeCun talked about making AI agents that could do things like plan a whole trip for you from your office to a different city, including getting you to the airport, and Meta has big plans to put their new AI into apps like WhatsApp and into smart glasses they've made with Ray-Ban. OpenAI's Brad Lightcap also hinted that there's more news coming about GPT-5 and that they're looking to make AI that can handle longer and more complex tasks by getting better at thinking things through. At the same event, Chris Cox from Meta mentioned how the cameras in their smart glasses could help you fix things like a broken coffee machine by using AI to tell you what to do. In the end, LeCun thinks that we'll be talking to these AI helpers all the time and that they'll play a big role in our digital lives. At the same time, Intel is stepping up its game in the AI hardware arena, claiming its new technology is significantly ahead of NVIDIA, a major player in the field. The head of Intel announced their goal to become the second biggest AI systems producer in the world by the end of this decade. Intel introduced its Gaudi 3 AI Accelerator at a big event called Intel Vision 2024, held in Phoenix. This new tech is designed to be a powerhouse for training the kind of AI models that make things like ChatGPT possible. Compared to what came before it, the Gaudi 2, this new version has a lot more computing power, can handle more data at once, and can connect to networks faster. This means it can help improve how fast and efficiently AI models can learn and make decisions, even for AIs that work with both words and pictures or sounds. The big news is that Intel's Gaudi 3 is expected to be 50% faster at teaching these smart AI models than NVIDIA's top $40,000 chip. And it can make decisions 30% faster than another one of NVIDIA's chips. Intel is also keeping an eye on NVIDIA's latest chip to see how it compares. Intel's CEO, Pat Gelsinger, made a big statement about how important innovation and AI are becoming for every kind of business, and how Intel's new tech is meant to help bring AI to all sorts of places, from personal computers to big data centers. One of the perks of the Gaudi 3 is that it doesn't need as many units to work with big AI models, which could make things cheaper for companies running large data centers. Intel has also been in the news for getting a big chunk of government money to help expand its chip-making operations in the U.S., with plans to create a huge site for making AI chips in Ohio. Gelsinger talked about this ambition at the Intel Vision event, emphasizing their commitment to growing in the AI field. Intel is trying to fill a gap in the market, especially at a time when there's a big demand for NVIDIA's chips. Gelsinger boasted about the positive feedback they've been getting for the Gaudi 3 from customers and partners. Some big names like Bosch, Landing AI, and Seeker are already using Intel's Gaudi technology. And soon more companies will be able to get their hands on it as it's set to be released to manufacturers in the next few months and will become more widely available after that. In his conversations with the press, Gelsinger talked up Intel's plans for the future, including getting the Gaudi 3 rolling out soon 
as well as another exciting chip they're working on. He was confident in Gaudi 3's superior performance and cost effectiveness compared to Nvidia's offerings, although specific pricing wasn't discussed. Intel's approach to competing with Nvidia isn't just about who has the best performance. It's also about cost, how easy it is to get the technology, and how it helps businesses access and use data. According to Christoph Schell, Intel's chief commercial officer, Intel checks all these boxes, positioning itself well ahead of Nvidia in the race. All right. Now, Google is spicing up its workspace business tools with some smart AI features, adding cool new abilities to what you already get, and also introducing some extra services. Google plans to enrich existing workspace accounts with new capabilities and introduce paid add-ons for an extra $10 per user per month. In addition, Google Meet, the video conferencing app, is set to receive its own add-on. This will include features such as auto-translation and an automatic note-taking service, enabling participants to fully engage in conversations without the distraction of taking notes. Announced at a recent Google Cloud event, these updates are part of Google's push to stay at the forefront of business software technology. With Google's business software being among the most widely used in workplaces worldwide, these enhancements are likely to be well-received. One of the standout new tools is Google Vids, a video editing app joining the Google Workspace lineup. Google Vids aims to simplify video creation and editing for businesses, covering everything from product pitches to social media content and even workplace safety training videos. This tool promises seamless integration with other workspace apps like Docs and Slides, offering features like storyboard generation and the use of stock footage to create a customizable first draft. Slated for release in June 2024, Google Vids will be available within Workspace without requiring a paid add-on. Google is also introducing a new AI security add-on for workspace subscriptions, priced at $10 per user per month. This enhanced security feature is designed to significantly improve Gmail's spam detection capabilities, processing a vast amount of user-reported spam each day. Additionally, it will offer tools to help IT teams automatically manage sensitive files on Google Drive, promising better protection and management of business data. The integration of AI doesn't stop with Workspace. Google Meet and Chat are also getting an AI boost. The Gemini-powered AI meetings and messaging add-on, also costing $10 per user per month, will be available for most Workspace plans. It features a Take Notes For Me option for automatic note-taking during meetings, as well as a Translate For Me function capable of translating 69 different languages, addressing the common challenge of language barriers in global business environments. These AI-powered enhancements are expected to roll out to Google Chat as well in 2024, further solidifying Google's commitment to improving productivity and communication through AI technology. All right, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more updates. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next one.